Moving on from the last video, we're going to be talking about fossils and how we date them. If you remember from the last video, the oldest fossil that's been found so far is of a cyanobacteria. Uh, this fossil has been dated to be about 3.5 billion years old, but how did we get that number? Well, there are two general types of dating rocks, absolute and relative. Absolute dating is a method that estimates the actual age of a rock as a number of years. Since this number is, in a way, absolute, it kind of makes intuitive sense. The most common method of absolute dating of rocks is radiometric dating. Now, to figure out how radiometric dating works, we're going to have to delve a little bit into chemistry and physics. When rocks are forming, they incorporate radioactive isotopes, things like uh, um, uranium-206 and I think 207. Uh, other ones are like carbon-14 or potassium-40. Um, these rocks have usually formed underneath the Earth's crust at very high temperatures and pressures, where these radioactive elements can exist naturally. So when the rocks cool down, these elements begin to decay. For example, uranium will decay to form lead plus some other stuff. Uh, in the 1900s, the scientists figured out, hey, this radioactive decay actually happens at a steady rate. Turns out, if you measure how much of a radioactive element is left in a rock, you can tell how old it is. Kind of like sand in an hourglass. Uh, if you know how quickly the sand falls through the glass, you can kind of measure how much sand is left, and then you can calculate how much time has gone by. So each radioactive element decays at a different speed, and depending on how old your sample is, you can use different elements to measure its age. Back to the hourglass analogy, uh, think of each element's hourglass as having a different width at the middle bit. The larger the width, the quicker the sand will fall through. Nowadays, we still use this extremely useful technique of dating rocks to figure out how old things are. Importantly, if you know how old a rock is, you can estimate how old a nearby fossil is as well. So, back to our 3.5 billion year old cyanobacteria. When archaeologists found this fossil, they probably took a sample of a nearby rock and used radiometric dating to determine its age, and from that, the age of the cyanobacteria.